What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. Yes, I'm still alive. <laughs> Haven't made a video in a while. Um, I apologize. You know, life happens. Uh, I ended up going on one trip uh, in October to Seattle and I had another trip in November uh, to Mexico for these are both week long trips and in between just getting ready and doing everything. And right now it's also the busy season at my work. So working uh, more hours and getting trying to things to, uh, you know, get things situated here. And then on top of everything else, when I came back from Mexico, I was planning to kick it in gear for you guys and uh, do uh, uh, more parties reviews and found out my father had pneumonia. So, and he was pretty bad. He ended up in the hospital for a few days. So um, needless to say, you know, during that time, um, he couldn't watch my daughter. He's the one that watches my daughter on the weekends. So I can do this review for you guys and, uh, and uh, you know, put out the content. So, uh, but first priority is, of course, his health and him getting better. Um, we wanted him to get back to normal, you know, because he is older. <laughs> he's 74 years old, so we got to try to keep him healthy. So thank God he's he's out of the hospital. He's getting back to normal. He's almost back to his old self. He's getting back to uh, being, uh, like I said, getting back to normal. So that's, thank God. So um, he, that being said, he can start watching my daughter again. I can start pushing this stuff out for you. So if you're wondering where I was at, that's what it was. Just, uh you know, busy times, especially with the baby. <laughs> so, uh, and both my trips were amazing, by the way. Both of them. Washington was just freaking awesome. Uh, a lot of cool places. A lot of, uh, went to Leavenworth. It's like a little German town up there near Seattle. That freaking was awesome. Then we also, uh, in Mexico, we went to some place called Creole. And uh, they're just awesome mountain areas. And it's just, some of the places look like the Grand Canyon. It's just freaking nuts, dude. Crazy, crazy. Uh, awesome time, amazing time, um, but now I'm back and ready to get uh, added here, I'm ready to, to kick it in gear for you guys and start pushing out some content. So I'm going to show you what's up. So this video mainly is going to be about showing what's coming up with the hard use review. I'm going to do these all here. I'm going to show you are going to be hard use reviews for you guys. Uh, put them through the ringers, see how they hold up, see how they feel, see uh, uh, if there's any hot spots, um, and just uh, the functionality of the blades, you know. So uh let's start with the first one here this first one has been done a thousand times i know um a lot of different content creators have done this one but i haven't done it all right <laughs> so hopefully you enjoy it when i do it and uh and maybe I, i'll pick something up that you didn't get from the other guys i don't know we'll see um that being said it is the it is the kershaw camp 10 kershaw camp 10 so it does come with this plastic kydex sheath but uh uh you know not, it, it serves a purpose a little strap that goes around not many knives have that strap that goes around the blade to lock it in which is kind of cool it is secure though it isn't it's not gonna come out um i'm not gonna like i said i'm not gonna go too too involved in this because i'm just showing what we're gonna be doing what we're gonna be doing hardest hardy's reviews on so um i will have separate videos for each one of these when i do them uh as far as specs uh metal types uh, dimensions, materials used, things like that. So, I mean, this one's brand new. It's still had the plastic on it. That's why it looks like splatter. <laughs> they put oil and then that plastic wrap around it. So it leaves that like, looks like a patina, but I just got to clean it off. It's still brand new. I never used it. Just got it in the other day. So got a smoke and deal on it on eBay. So I always wanted one of these. I never pulled the trigger just because, I don't know, because of the price, but it does feel good in hand. And then the that grip is pretty, <laughs> it's pretty tacky. <laughs> I was gonna say right, it's pretty tacky, but then it slipped out of my hand. But uh, yeah, yeah. Needless to say, uh, gotta be careful with these damn things. <laughs> uh, pretty badass. I can't wait to test this out. So far, I've seen every content creator I've ever seen never had a negative review on this. Never. Uh, maybe the only thing I heard was maybe this handle here. This maybe is a little too grippy. Can cause a little uh, irritation on your hands. But I mean. I got calluses. I work outside a lot and stuff and train with weights. So it doesn't really bother my hands too, too much, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. The next one here is going to be, this one here is an awesome budget one so far. So far it looks promising. We're going to see during the testing because these either surprise me in a great way. Like, wow, this thing held up amazing for the price or it's like, oh, okay. I get why it's that price. <laughs> it's one of the two. And uh, that one here is this Timu, T-E-M-U. Uh, that's, where you, that's where you can get it. Uh, they just call this a survival knife. Uh, survival knife, knife, axe, hatchet. They, they have this, all these sayings for this thing. But 
Um, you can find it on Timu. Again, I'll do drop links and stuff when I do the actual review on this exact knife, but the quality of the sheath looks pretty damn good. And uh, not too bad, not too bad. And the knife itself looks pretty amazing too. You know, it's uh, this right here shipped to me, shipped was 35 bucks. 35 bucks shipped, look almost a quarter inch thick slab of D2 steel. A nice uh, wooden handles there, nice little skull buster in the back. This thing came razor freaking sharp for being a $35 budget blade. Um, so far, I like the ergonomics of it. It feels good. The fit and finish is really good. They did really good on grinding mat, so it's not, nothing's, uh, no, no, I don't feel any hot spots or anything like that. Well, again, we'll see when I start testing this and chopping it. Um, yeah, pretty badass and it has that fake painted on patina, but it still looks pretty damn cool. We'll see how that holds up during uh, testing here. Um, but yeah, that's another thing coming up here. And again, guys, these are is in no specific order. Um, you know, I might do one of these first or in the middle or whatever. So I'm just showing you which ones what are coming up, you know, in the future to stay tuned for. Um, once I get back at it. So the next one, this one here, I freaking love the feel of it. Love the feel of it. Uh, I love the look of the knife. I'm a big K bar fan, so I can tell you right there. And it has to be the Jaro's Choppa. K bar Jaro's Choppa. This one here is discontinued. You can find it now and again on uh, on eBay. You know, that's where I got both of mine from. I got two. That's how much I loved it. Just super lightweight, nimble. And this thing's a chopping beast, man. If you go watch, like I watched, uh, um, uh, who was it that did that? There's a few different, uh, yeah, my mind won't blink. Um, I don't think, it was not Eric from Outer Limitless. No, he, his channel is pretty badass. He does a bunch of knives, too, a bunch of K bars. I don't know if he's ever done, he might have done this Jar Rose Choppa. But the one I'm thinking of is uh, Gideon's Tactical. He did an awesome review on it. And loves the knife, says it holds up really good for the size and the length. And also um, Chris from Prepared Mind 101. I seen his video. That's when I first one I saw. And he was surprised. He's all for as slender as the blade is, like as far as the belly and everything, uh, and the lightweight as it feels and nimble. He thought it would be like kind of a weak chopper. And this thing it holds up to his name. Jaw was chopper. It chops out of its weight class. So I haven't tested it myself. I did a little light chopping with it. You can see there, but nothing major. So I want to do harder use review on this um, and see how it holds up and see how it feels in the hand. These I had uh, Chris. I'm sorry, Lucas Carroll uh, from Carroll Custom uh, Scales. Uh, he made these handles for me, which are freaking awesome, man. Just straight, tacky, grippy, fit perfectly, perfectly ergonomic. Little bottle, uh, Coke bottle swell here fits in the hand just beautifully now. Because the other ones were that slick plastic. Uh, what do they call that? Um, not not Grivex, but maybe Grivex. Just some plastic, slick plastic shit that's not good. This right here is Nicarta tacky. Feels good in the hand. I mean, it grabs the hand. Um, not bad. Like I said, ni nice and nimble in the hand. I can't wait to test this one out. This one's going to be fun. And let's go to the next one. So, also, you guys know this one. I talked about it before a few times. I just never got around to testing it again because it started happening. All, all this stuff the last couple months have came up and haven't had a chance to really test this one, but this one here is a fan favorite. I know a lot of people like it when I do shorts on it, so I know it's uh, a popular one. And that one here is the, uh, the how do you say this again? I forget the name of it. Vons, I have the tag right on it here. Uh, Sword, BK Becker Sword Ranger Bowie. Uh, little Ranger knife. So awesome sheath, look at that sheath. Freaking beautiful, beautiful sheath. And again, guys, I'm going to do full reviews on all these, you know. I know I'm not giving a lot of specifications on these, but you're going to see them when I do the actual review. I'm going to do a full rundown, uh, tabletop. And I like to try like, to throw mine to make it a little bit different than some. I like to do a tabletop, talk to you guys, and then take it out and do some do uh, some banging with it and some cutting and all different types of things, batoning. So comes in a nice sheath. Look at this. This knife is awesome. I'm going to be careful because this is razor sharp. This thing is a razor blade, super, super sharp. Um, I love that, how they do that fire type burning on it. See, so it has almost like a rainbow effect to it on the edge. That's so nice. And this side here has the stamp. This Ford Ranger. Look at that quarter inch thick at the thickest. Nice, thick freaking guard. Robust. You have some 
holes here if you want to attach it probably to make a spear or something out of it you have a lanyard hole obviously that's what the cards are on that's how new it is too i haven't used this one yet either still attached with the little cards <laughs> so i do plan on doing a review on this nice little edc little edc uh fixed blade in my opinion it's a little bit on the bigger side but it's awesome and this thing is just amazing uh, i love the way it looks and i love the way it feels in my hand even though it's kind of like a plain rectangle style it's still smooth on the edges and it still feels pretty good in the hand so this one here is coming up and uh last last one now guys last one this last one is freaking awesome i love it i love it it's uh this one here is a company that's uh, been sending me knives to test out it is from uh, hx outdoors uh, which they have awesome blades. Go check out some of the views they did on some of their knives. That's the reason why, like I said, I, I wouldn't back a knife if it's, if it's junk. I only back up quality stuff. So, and it held up amazing. Every knife I test for them held up amazing. That and I put them, I smashed through the shit in them. I, I chopped even trees and branches and everything. And they held up great. So, I don't mind uh, endorsing their their product because they put out an awesome product and their stuff's all quality for the price. It's really good quality. Um, this one here is the Black Zypher. The black cypher. Look at this freaking beast. Look at this beast. It has the little straps here if you want to do horizontal carry or attach to a pack or something. It also has a uh, attachment here uh, for the top the top uh, button here. But you check this out. You don't even need it. I mean, they put this on here, but you can even take that off if you want because the Kydex, I mean, it holds it in place tight. I mean, that's not coming out. I mean, you can almost rock this freaking beast inverted. And that's saying something because this sucker is thick. <laughs> this thing is so heavy. Um, in a good way, though, you know, I mean, for a, a bruiser, chopper, just a beast, this thing is freaking awesome. Take a look at this freaking thing, guys. Take a look at this. Just freaking awesome. I love this little hook here to catch your hand so when you're chopping, it doesn't fly out of your hand forward. Or if you stab something, you're pulling back, you have a hook here to pull it out with, you know, boom. Um, if you get stuck in anything, just freaking awesome, man. And this one here... Uh, I even like that. I'm not a big fan of stonewash, but look at that. Even that stonewash finish looks awesome on it. Um, look how thick this freaking beast is, dude. <laughs> I love it. And this sucker came razor, razor sharp. Um, just amazing. I like the design of it. it has the G10 handle scales. Um, you got jimping up here on the back, all the way down the handle, jimping inside. And it's all smoothed out, so nothing sharp, nothing. There's no sharp edges anywhere. It's all smooth, just ripple effect type of, of feeling on it. The G10 itself feels really good in hand. And this is DC 53 still. So, you know, this is the premium version of the D2. So this stuff is just a tank. And they do, I, from testing their products, they do awesome heat treat because I've never had a nick, a fold, a roll, um, nothing on the edge. And it's still, I was able to shave my arm hair after a few testing with some of them. So this holds up great. Got a couple lanyard holds back here. Um, like I said, I'm gonna do the full review on this and go over it a little bit more thorough with you guys. Uh, that's what I'm going to just give you this the rundown of this thing. It's a freaking beast. Beast, man. This thing is just awesome. And I know what you're going to say. Oh, it looks like the other one you just showed. Uh, the one from Toomey. Um, and because this one is a different level. Let me tell you that the Toomey one is nice. It's nice for the price. Because it's a little more. This will cost you around 150 bucks. But it's a level quality. It's like three or four levels quality up, man. It's like uh, probably even more than that. It's just I'm going to show you right now real quick. Um, and I'll do another comparison when I do the videos too on one of them. Probably either this one or that one to show you the difference. But it looks very similar as far as it's almost like they copied. I don't know if they had this one, copied this one, made a, a better run version, or if this, I don't know, if they just all have the same design, but definitely not the same knife. It's because you'll see this and be like, oh yeah, it looks almost like, looks like that one with wooden handles. Then you see this up next to it and realize, no, it's not. It's not because look at this. Look at the thickness difference. This thing's just a freaking beast out of here, man. It's super thick compared to this one. This one's no slouch. This one's pretty. Uh, this one's pretty thick too, but not as thick as this freaking beast. This is that's in the DC fifty three. This is D two. Um, but again, you're paying thirty five bucks for this, so it's to be expected, right? The quality shouldn't be the same on this. But this one here, you have freaking sick ass G ten handles. This is just a wooden handle here, um, but basically the same kind of shapes. You see a little bit. This one is a little more pronounced hook. We'll see how that a hot, creates a hot spot or not. So far, it feels pretty smooth right there. I don't think it will, but you never know. This one's all smooth all the way around. So we'll have to, we'll have to test them out and see what's going on. But you can see the handle. So it is different. It is different. Again, this one has jumping on the backside. 
be careful I don't drop this and cut myself like I did with the last knife. I almost dropped it and cut my foot off. But you can see there, it's just all different. It's not identical. So very, very similar as far as shape. But the size, um, this one's bigger, obviously, the, the black Zypher. Um, but cool. We'll see how they hold up. We'll see how they hold up. I mean, I really, really have high hopes for this one. I doubt this one's going to have an issue. This one, I don't know. I don't know. 35 bucks. Uh, D, standard D2. We'll see. I'm going to put it through its paces, you know. I'm going to see how it, how it holds out. That's one thing about these these budget ones, you know, like this one here is, and I think some people can agree with me, you tend to abuse the budget ones a little more because you know they're budget. You break it or anything happens, you're like, ah, it's 35 bucks, whatever. Now you break one that's like 150 or 200 or $300, you tend to baby it a little bit more and try to take care of it. You don't go crazy. This one I'll hammer the shit out of a I'll baton with it really hard and everything else. This one, I'll do this one because this one's like this. But I'm talking about other ones that are expensive. This one I'm gonna I'm gonna go crazy with because they they gave me this one to test. They they said go nuts with this. So I'll go ahead and put it through the ringer, put it through the paces, and see how it holds up. So this one I have no doubt. I'm gonna go heavy with this. But I'm saying to, you know, in general, you buy a three hundred dollar knife, you're gonna freaking baby a little more and not abuse it as you would something like this. So if something like this holds up with hardcore abuse, you know that's you're getting a your bang for your buck, man. You're getting value. So that's it, guys. Um, I just wanted to show you that, show you what's coming up. Uh, let you know I'm still here, <laughs> still kicking. Um, just to, you know, give you the you know a little bit of what's going on, you know. And I appreciate every single one of you that subscribe and support me, and all the guys that constantly re, uh, uh, leave comments on my on my channel and like my videos and share my videos and. All the regulars that stop by and say what's up and, you know, all the content creators that, um, that help, you know, either help me out along the way or support my channel and, you know, pass out some of my content. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you very, very much. And I am going to come back full board, hardcore, start pushing these videos out for you on some of these knives. You see, I got, I got the knives. I got, I got content. Oh, and Scab from Choir Boys Outdoors is sending me. Three more knives, badass knives from Shade Indonesia to, to test out and to do reviews on. So I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be badass. There's some sick ass knives coming that my way from them. And oh, speaking of that, I forgot one more. I just, this one, here's another fan favorite that everyone loved and I never got my hands on. Surprisingly, being a knife guy, owning 130 knives, I never owned this one till recently. And man, I've been missing out. The Raja 2, as Cab says. So this one here is just awesome, man. After I held it in my hand, this sucker is a freaking razor blade. I mean, we're talking. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I mean, this thing is a freaking razor blade. So sharp as hell. Triad lock. That Grivex hard plastic type material. Um, I'm going to do a hearty review on this. Scab did like, he's done a few on this and he loves it. He said it's one of his favorites. So I'm really looking forward to testing this bad boy out um, and seeing how it holds up for a pocket kookery, pretty much that turns into a fixed blade. Uh, just, it's going to be fun. This one's going to be fun to test too, you know. I'm, I'm really interested in throwing this one to see how it throws to see if it ends up hitting correctly or if it's going to over rotate with it. You never know. It's a weird shape. So um, it's going to be fun to throw this one around. And I'm not too sure if many people throw this to like a, I'll have to take a look and see if anyone's actually thrown this to see how it sticks in. I bet you a few people have, but I'm going to do it and we're going to see how this, uh, this thing uh, flies. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I went on too long. Please like, subscribe, share, and uh, stay tuned for some fun stuff coming up.